congratulations on your sixth year. Thank you. Um, how did that happen? Um, you know, we applied kind of late. Uh, it was Bruce Rasmussen, our AD, that kind of, I mean, we had thought about it previously, but he was the one that, that wanted to check it out. Um, he contacted a law firm that handled cases like that, and they gave us feedback that, you know, we should try to give it a go. So, Brady Mana, our compliance um, officer, kind of took the reins on it and gathered all the information, sent it in the NCA, and we just kind of waited. And they came back a couple times asking for more information, and, uh, you know, finally got word that uh, I was going to get it. So, I'm extremely appreciative of everything she did and everybody that helped out because I just was chilling, I wasn't doing anything, so they're the ones that, that need the things. Well, I think Coach is excited. Apparently, yesterday, he said the exact day was July 3rd at 10.31 a.m. Kind of a memorable moment for him. Apparently, yeah, <laughs> apparently. Um, obviously, a new conference, a lot of excitement going around that. Besides Madison Square Garden, most or the, or the venue you're looking forward to playing. Um, I'm excited for all of them, to be honest. They're all new and different. I would say if I had to pick one, probably Hinkle Fieldhouse, just because of the tradition. Hoosiers was filmed there, all those things. And obviously, Butler's been a tremendous program last couple years. So um, I would say Hinkle's definitely up there, but they, they, you know, they're all going to be great. What? What part of your game are you looking to improve? Uh, you know, I'm just going to tighten up everything a bit. You know, a lot of it for me is just staying healthy and making sure, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm doing the things to keep my body right every day. Um, I think I'm shooting the ball a lot more consistently than I have last year, and, you know, that probably doesn't necessarily mean I'll be taking more shots because my job's really to distribute, find Doug, and find our shooters. But, you know, if I'm left open, uh, I'm hoping I can shoot a better percentage than I did last year. Anything you think you'll miss? Yeah, I mean, I you know the Valley's a great league, and I, I still contend I think it's one of the best coached leagues, top to bottom. Um, and I think just the strategy every night, the kind of defenses we face, and, and kind of the, the mind games between coaches was something I appreciated it, um, like that style of play. So I think we're gonna miss that league a lot. And then you know, obviously St. Louis, I think everybody's gonna miss that as well. Yeah. <laughs> You know, unless you get a seventh year, um, do you think of yourself as kind of going forward looking into coaching? That's something that you want Yeah, to I mean, I think that's the thought right now. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll get into that immediately or what exactly. I'll kind of let that work itself out. With them. I think I've always kind of played the game you know, coaches and tried to think of things from all perspectives, um, which has kind of been my job on the team, is being that bridge between the coaches and the players. So, um, obviously, I've got a great mentor and coach Max to learn from every day and I try to absorb as much information I 